Okay, so I'm gonna start this off by apologizing right away because you might hear some background noise. There are some dudes next door going ham with some chainsaws. But I got my ECU back from RS Enthalpy and actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide some of the details there because uh, I don't know if you can see that, but boom, there it is. Martin down there is a legend. He helped me through a lot, got this set up for this engine, got it tuned properly. Um, there wasn't really anything super wrong with it, um, but we set it up for base timing. So instead of the whatever the 20 degrees was that was mentioned before in the documents I had before, it is now set to factory timing, which is 15 degrees. So this girl's going back together. This girl's going in the car, and uh, I'm gonna film some of that for you. I'm trying to do this quick. It's the last nice day we're gonna have for a little bit. Got some weather rolling through. And honestly, I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna get into it. We're gonna get this in. We're gonna have a good time. All right, I'm taking you with me. I still gotta tape that up. We're gonna get in the car. Don't need this yet, I don't believe. I will have to put it in, but I don't need it like right now, right now. Is this recording on the side? Is it recording like this right now? It might be recording like this right now. This is gonna be weird in the edit. Let me go back to normal, hold on. Not totally sure why that's a feature, but it is. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna, you're not gonna see Jack in here. So I'm gonna plug this in. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, you can't really see it. I think you can kind of see it. ECU's partially in for now. I'm going to get this in at a later date. I need to make some adjustments to the harness in there. And to be fair, I'm a little nervous getting down there to do that because the last time I did, I severely injured my back. Sounds a bit like I'm a pussy. And I guess I kind of am, but I don't want to do that again. That took me out for weeks. Um, just stacking on top of my previous injuries. So... I'm gonna get you all on a tripod, get the rocker covers on, and hopefully have this almost ready to go in the car. Yeah, this should hopefully be good enough. So I need to actually scrape some of the old gasket material off from when I put it on the first time. Means I need to find that little razor blade again. There's always something that's gotta disappear, right? Especially when you ain't been in here for a while. Only makes sense. I feel like I would've tried to put it somewhere safe. It is a, a razor blade. Oh, this would be so much better if I was organized. I found something that'll work. Alright, let's get this off of here. Okay. Now to put some fresh on there. I should probably make sure that I can even get those on there with the exhaust on. So, let's just grab one. Yeah, I should be able to do that. At least I don't see why not. So we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. You just hang out there, friend. Let's put a wee bit on there, cause I've seen it done on the internet. Does that mean it's right? Hell no, but How am I going to do this? There's the dogs. And actually, before I do this, I might pour some oil down there. Just to make doubly sure. This is the oil I'll be breaking it in with, so for Gucci. Okay. 
a little bit on the surface there. I will wipe that off. Don't want that. It's a little slow. We're good. It's all good. I lost my spring and my adapter here, which is horrifically unfortunate. But we don't make it work. We got to. Most things, I'm sure there's a torque spec. I'm not super worried about it. It's not gonna go ham, but I'm gonna make it tight. I'm just using a little quarter inch dry thing, so it's not like I can really go crazy on it anyhow. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of get them started anyway for the RTV. Alright, other side. that goes right there. side and get them nice and tight. I'm going to go back to the other side and do the same thing. Should have had enough time for the RTV by now. Sucked ginormously. That would have gone right down in the cylinder five. Okay. Valve covers are on. Here's an PCB. I don't really care too much for that. But That's on there. Now, I think we might be ready for the timing cover. But first, I want to turn it over some more. See if it's smooth. Seems off. See if this will work. Fresh battery, I might. 
those bad boys old things. Ten years old at this point. Over ten years old. Yeah, it's also the battery charger I'm plugged in. Alright, well, we're not gonna do that right now. Don't have another one at the moment. There's just something weird going on. That. There's a click. Sounds like it's coming from the back here. That is worrisome. Because I have no idea what that could be. throw this in the car like that so what i'm thinking is i think it's gonna have to happen so i'm gonna have to take the pan off and flip it over and rotate it over see if i can find that click but the last time i did that the click didn't happen while it was upside down so maybe i'll check the the rod caps and the main caps i did not assemble this block it was done at a shop so i mean if that's messed up then we got a bigger problem but, I mean, I suppose I can still put some, I just don't want to get too much on there and then come to find out it's got to go back to the builder for them to fix whatever they may have messed up. Uh, 